back to the beginning. Lumbridge, where it all begins. Well, not really too much anymore, because now it begins in Burthorpe. But we did that. We got through the tutorial on Bald Beauty, the new RuneScape 3 Iron Man account that I'm bringing you on the journey for. And what are we doing in Lumbridge? We're doing Cook's Assistant. We are going back to the basics. We have to start somewhere. And I think it's a crime if you don't start with Cook's Assistant, which takes effectively three minutes to complete. But it gives you some good cooking experience, I think. So that's what we're doing right now. We're grabbing the milk. We're getting the wheat. And I'm still just astounded by how good this game looks. Like, they've come so far, yet the mechanics are the same. Like, you got to pull the hopper to distill the wheat, or I don't know how it works. So for you brewery people out there and people who actually do this for a living, I apologize. But we're back in action. We're completing these starter quests because we have to. And it will lead us to more fun and interesting quests along the way. But there you go, brother. There's your there's your cake. I hope you let the Duke know who really made that, because we all know you didn't make it. You didn't go out there and get those ingredients. So now we're doing Demon Slayer. Now this is a quest that was heavily reworked, as you can see. Like, now you actually go down into the basement of that chapel place. And you get put to the tests. So there's three different tests you have to do. The first one is to kill these skeletons. This is the test of combat. And then this is the test of faith, where you have to click on these right spaces. And if you misclick, you fall. So this is pretty cool how they reworked this quest. It's all voice acted for the most part. I would play the voice acting for you, but it's really low volume. And it would just, it would take you out of this experience. So I'd rather not. You can look up quest tutorials that will actually show you the voice acting pieces. But check out Exc Excalibur. It looks pretty cool, and you actually you, you still have to use it in order to kill the final demon here. But we're making our way to the final boss, and here we are. Cutscene time. So this fight was actually a little bit more difficult than I expected. The first time I did it, I did it on Slickshot 61. And if you don't run to those bubbles when he casts his final attack, then he effectively fucked you up. Like, it does a ton of damage. And I didn't bring any food on Slickshot when I did this. And there it is. Quest complete. I didn't bring any food with me on Slickshot 61 when I did this quest. And he literally almost killed me. And I was like, dude, I've been playing this game for one day. And I'm about to die on Demon Slayer. Like, you gotta be kidding me. So now we'll do Restless Ghost. We all remember this quest. The amulet of ghost speak. We're talking to the dead. And I, I still think it's cool how you can see Al Carrad from here. Because back in the day, the view distance was like non-existent but now you can see like practically every continent from one place in the game which is cool but it definitely does make the game feel a lot smaller i remember back in the day you actually felt like you were going on a journey somewhere and you know as you can see you look across the river here and you see the other continent but we are getting the skull so that we can give the skull to the ghost so that they can once again be a whole skeleton and live happily ever after. Strength level! Boom! As you can see, I just got over the 10, level 10 threshold for attack, strength, and defense. So obviously I'm pretty much a big shot now. I can pretty much fight anything. I'll probably just go do God Wars in a, in a few minutes here and knock that out. But there's so many raids that I don't even know exist yet. Like there's so met, there's so much PVM now in this game that I've got to reacquaint myself with. But there it is, Restless Ghost, complete. And dude, if I had to name one quest that's not even considered a quest that just sucks, it is this one. This quest is probably the worst one ever created. It is Sheep Shearer. And you effectively have to go and shear those black sheep. And there aren't that many of them, so you've got to wait for them to respawn. And I had no idea how many, how much black wool I actually needed, so I got like seven. 
And then this guy tells me that I need more, and I'm like, are you kidding me? And at some point, I don't think I recorded it, but at some point, someone else came in this cage and started, there they are, they started shearing sheep with me, and we were racing to get to the black sheep. And I was like, dude, this is not the best time for this, but uh, but we're doing it. We got the rest of our wool here. We're about to go hand that in. But my goal is I want to bring you through all the quests. I don't just want to show you the most exciting quests because I know a lot of you guys mentioned that you wanted me to share with you what I'm learning along the journey. You want me to share all the different pieces of the quests that I'm doing, which is cool. I won't bore you with like the running stuff and I'll only show you the parts that are most interesting. But now we're going to knock out Druidic Ritual. I love these guys' names. You can actually, you might be able to hear this guy's voice but this is probably the worst voice acting I've ever heard. It was like an old man voice for the, if, if I don't include the voice acting, then just know it's terrible and you can look it up if you want to, but Sandfew is the guy's name. It's like the worst voice acting I've ever heard in any video game. But I do think he was one of the first NPCs that was voice acted. But for this quest, we have to do a few things for them. We have to fish out this fish called the Stonefish. And then we've got to return that and a few other things to these guys at the Druidic Stone here. It took like five minutes to do this quest too. I just wanted to get these more boring ones out of the way so that we can really focus on like the exciting quests together. I don't know if I want to do these quests in the order that they were released like Jimmy's doing on his channel with his Iron Man just because he's already done that. I don't just want to do what he's done. I think that I'm just going to do these quests in the order that I want to do them but also the order that makes the most sense to follow them. So this is the cave below Berthorpe, which has a couple little Slayer creatures in it from the beginner Slayer tasks that Turiel gives you in Berthorpe. I have to collect water from this spring down here, but I literally had no idea where the water was, so I ran around this cave for like 10 minutes. But I found it! Here it is! The subterranean spring. Very special water I needed to collect. Very needy druids. But we did it. So I'm going to bring you along the questing journey. I'm going to show you some skilling along the way too as we skill for the quests that we need specific skill levels for. But the way that we're doing this quest, I actually found a guide on Reddit. And I don't have the name of the guide at the top of my head, but I will link in the description this Iron Man guide on Reddit that I'm following. It literally shows you like the best order that you can possibly follow for the quests in order to get the most efficient experience and get the most quest points so that eventually we'll have the quest cape together. Dude, this voice acting is so bad. So bad. Boom. Druidic ritual complete. 250 herb lore experience. Yeah, I need all the herb lore experience that I can possibly get because it is impossible to level up herb lore as an Iron Man quickly. You have to literally gather all your herbs, make all the potions. It's a very long grind. Now, this was a really fun quest. This is Stolen Hearts. This is the new Prince Ali rescue, essentially, and this is us stalking this bad guy. We're following him to the lair. This quest actually has really good voice acting. So now we found Prince Ali. Mighty is he. And now we're going to kill the baddies. Combat looks so freaking cool. But now we're in Alcarid. We're going to do some acrobatics across the rooftops. You'd think this would give you agility experience, but it doesn't. I have no idea why. But just take a look at this reworked quest. They took a lot of quests and they reworked them, made them look a lot better, added the voice acting. I gotta find the statue that weighs more than the others. And then we're gonna take that statue and we're going to use it to collect the gem. Because we gotta take that gem and we've gotta use it as a ransom to get Prince Ali back. But there's a twist. The Shah doesn't want us to give the diamond away. But I had some difficulty finding the heaviest one. I really had no idea what I was doing, so I just took a wild guess. And hopefully my guess is right, which it was. Stolen hearts completed. This one actually gave a lot of different experience and different skills, but obviously it's like newbie experience. It's like 250, which is nothing. 
but it's helpful at the beginning. It's really fun because at the beginning when you're creating a new character, like anything you do, you just level up like crazy. Like you'll go from zero total level to like 300 in one sitting, like after, you know, like maybe a day of playing or so. Now we're going to do Diamond in the Rough. And we're going to do this right now because it's like the next step right after Stolen Hearts. So why not just do it now? Look at this scene. This looks really good. Look at how clean this looks. Even my character looks like HD. I love RS3. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, guys. I'm sure old school is fun too. But like I said, I've already done that. So in this quest, we have to now solve these puzzles in the desert because the diamond that we stole in Stolen Hearts was not the real diamond. So now we're going to find the real one. And you got to find these three turntables, turn them in the right direction, fight the enemies that come at you as you try to do it. And by the way, if you're enjoying this series so far, I know this is only episode two, but if you're enjoying this Iron Man series, hit like on this video, please, so other people get to see this series as well. And if you want to be notified of the, the next videos in the series, hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you see all the new videos that are launched in this series. So we are drowning in quicksand. And now we are in the abyss. Not really, we're just below the sands in Alcarid, which looks really cool. It looks very, very ambient. And now we gotta find this little poop beetle. I think it's called a dung beetle, but poop beetle sounds better. We have to find the poop beetle that is singing because the one that's singing has the diamond. And there it is, the carrot Eeb. Oh, earthquake. I have a feeling that a big fight scene is about to happen. Yup. Look how cool that looks. I do wish that these fights were a little bit more difficult. I get that they're teaching new players how to play the game, but I mean, I'm effectively a new player. I haven't played in over a decade, but I don't really need this much of a tutorial. You know, Birth Herb itself is enough, a enough of a tutorial, so if I had to give any pieces of advice to Jagex, it would be to make these fights a little bit more difficult because like they don't hit anything and they die super quick. And I've gotten to some new quests that are actually kind of difficult. Boom, Diamond in the Rough complete. Now it's time to go slay a vampire. I think this guy actually hits pretty hard. This is probably the hardest fight so far that I've that I've had to do. But I really wanted to do this quest because this is a great starting quest. For those who used to play, you know this to be true. You remember, it gives you a ton of strength experience which I wanted, so I'm doing the quest. So we gotta buy a drink for this dude, Dr. Harlow, who's stumbling all over the bar, somehow not spilling his, his beer for whatever reason. All right, we have everything we need to slay the beast. Let's go to Draenor Manor. Now, I love Draenor Manor, check it out. It looks so badass. They did such a good job at remaking this place and actually making it look kind of dark and scary. The tree still hit you. I think that tree hit more than all those NPCs in the first three quests that I did. And time for the fight of a century. That's a cool cutscene. This guy looks really cool. Even the music is freaking awesome. Count Draenor. Dude, his back must hurt so bad from being in that thing for so long. But he's got great posture. As you can see, he's actually not the easiest fight as a low level. But we did it. Boom! Right in the gut. Bitch. Pretty sweet. Probably one of the coolest quests so far, even though it's like a five minute quest. But this is going to get us the strength experience that we need. And here it is. 
Okay, maybe it's not just strength. I could use it towards anything. I think I actually use it towards magic. Now, the knight sword is like a prerequisite to anything that has to do with smithing because this quest is going to get us a ton of smithing experience. And as an Iron Man, you got to make your own shit. So I need to level up my smithing so I can make my steel, so I, which I already am wearing, to make my mithril, to make my adamant, to make my rune. And then there's a new metal. It's got a really weird name, so I won't even attempt it right now, but I think it's only RS3 that has the new metal. So we've got to go see Doric. I think this is Doric. And he's going to tell us... Nope, this is Thurgo. This is the, the smithing cape, dude. White Castle looks awesome. There's like a, a brawl happening out here at all times of the day. They're always fighting. Very tiring life. So now we got to go get the Blurite. And for some reason, I feel the urge to kill everything in this area. I'm just looking for the combat experience. But as you can see, from Chef's Assistant to now, we've already gone up over 10 levels in each of our combat stats, at least our melee stats. So we're making progress, guys. We're moving. Our Iron Man's growing. Almost 300 total level. And I'm trying to freaking mine this, and it is not easy. But this guy came to my rescue, so thanks, brother. Appreciate your help. Literally saved the day, because I didn't bring hardly any food with me. And the food that I did bring, he was like 200. I have the world's worst food. I got to get my fishing up to, to actually get some good food. Boom. Look at that, 13,000 smithing experience. It got me to level 34 smithing. That is outlandish. Correction, 31 smithing, but still pretty good. Well, that's it. That's part two of the Iron Man series for RS3. We knocked out seven quests together in this second episode. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so that you're notified of all future videos in this series. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day. I'll talk to you soon.